Welcome to another episode of the Raider Cast, your podcast for everything silver and black. I am your host, JT, and today we have some breaking news. Denzel Good has retired from the NFL. Um, this is kind of shocking news. There has been no talk about him wanting to retire or looking to retire. So this is definitely kind of shocking news. However, it was kind of written in the stars in a way. Um, but first I want to say, once a Raider, always a Raider. Denzel Good played pretty well the past um three and a half seasons for us he was injured all of last year so he didn't get that much um play time however the previous two years he started a lot he started all um almost all of 2020 he started or played in all the games in 20 uh 2019 and only played in one game in 2021 but he was kind of supposed to be our starting left guard or sorry right guard but it didn't happen um but what i meant earlier about and i uh, and also i want to say um, hope he has a great retirement. You know, he definitely deserves it. Um, but what I want to say about the writing in the stars is that we've been hearing a lot about Lester Cotton becoming this better player than he has been in the past. Um, looking at his restructuring recently, it makes sense now that he wanted to try to save the writer some money before he retired, but still get some of it. He still got $1 million out of it, even though he's not playing this year. So cutting that $2 million and helping the team... It, is such a great team move by him. Uh, he clearly seemed to like being a Raider. Um, it almost seemed like this camp recently, this past week of training camp, maybe wasn't him trying to get back into it, necessarily physically, but mentally, seeing if he actually wanted to come back. Um, because he still had the incentives in the contract. So if he came back and played and started, he would have gotten at least half of the money that he lost by restructuring back. Um, but it seems like he, after this week of training camp, he's like, you know, I'm all set. I just came off a major knee injury at 31 years old as an O-lineman. I think I just want to retire. And honestly, I don't blame him. That's not something that I will hold against him because that's a very respectable move and it makes sense. Um, but what this means for the Raiders going forward is that he obviously was supposed to be our starting right guard. He was supposed to be last year, didn't happen. This year, it looks like it's a battle for Lester Cotton and Dylan Parham. In my opinion, Lester Cotton has this. I was talking about this earlier in my previous video and even yesterday on the Raider Cast preseason show. I was talking about how Lester Cotton can become the starter just because Denzel Good is older and coming off that injury. So this kind of came true in a way, except he retired. Um he didn't just he didn't win the starting position necessarily by like playing even though i think he should deserve it i'm not saying he lester Khan doesn't deserve it i'm saying that denzel good retired before he had a chance to actually win the starting role um but this means that this is Den, uh, lester cotton's position to lose um the only competition i i see him really having is alex bars or dylan barham but alex bars is much more of a backup um, in my opinion, even though he is a veteran, so he should be a solid backup if Lesnar Khan end up doesn't working out in the regular season. We have Dylan Parham and Alex Mars as backup, which is fantastic because both those players are very uh, diverse and adaptable on the O-line. So in my opinion, it looks like going forward, what this means for the O-line is that Lester Khan is going to be the starting right guard. He was through the first week of training camp. That was one of the mainstays that Deshaun Reed and Vic Taffer and all of the beat reporters were talking about. Is that they saw Lester Khan at right guard a lot. They saw Andre James in the center a lot. And they saw Colton Miller, obviously, keeping his left tackle position on lockdown. I mean, obviously, people probably rotated in just to get some snaps. But he has that left tackle. Andre James has that center. And Lester Cotton has that right guard position. Now... Looking at the other two spots, that's also the batters battles. Dylan Parham versus uh, John Simpson at left guard. And then Brandon Parker and Alex Elderwood at right tackle. Um, for right now, it doesn't change too much of what was happening in camp already. As good was having a backup role and didn't have a lot of impact in terms of like people lost reps to a person that retired. That's not what happened at all. It seemed like he was trying to get back into it, either mentally or physically, and he just wasn't having it and didn't want to do it anymore, which is totally respectable and understandable. Um, I, once again, wish him all the best in retirement. He played well for us the past few seasons. Um, I mean, I just want to take a look at his PFF grade. I think it was pretty decent in all honesty. Um, not looking at 2021, but 2020, the 56 is not the best, but it's, it's, it's average, and that's, you know, he was just a good solid player uh, looking at 2019 where he played a lot 65 oh, that's a really good grade he was 29 
It looked like he could have been our right guard, not necessarily of the future, but of the next few years, but it looks like it's, it didn't work out. Um, big respect for him to putting the team first and giving us some cap space before he retired. Um, it seemed like he was definitely a mentor to, or at least was had a lot of confidence in Lester Cotton and all the young old linemen to take his place. Um, once a Raider, always a Raider. But yeah, so that's the news for today. Um, I don't think this changes a lot of what the plan was going forward. I think Lester Cotton was eventually going to get that spot regardless of uh, Denzel Good retiring or not. Um, but yeah. So once again, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Leave a comment down below uh, either about what you think this means for the team. I personally don't think it's that much of a big deal per se. Um, don't forget to com uh, like and subscribe and follow my Twitter and Instagram. I think I already said that, but that's okay. I'll say it again. They're both at Condor Season. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day, Raider Nation. Peace out.